Right. So, Mr. Tanko, I think one <clears throat> particular issue that has actually sparked this whole tension is the fact that they are feeling or kind of witnessing some sort of alleged ambiguities in this very development. How well have you been linking, I mean, effectively with the, the, the family of um, that missing uh, baby boy and then also relaying information to... And that was my colleague Evans Incom bringing us up to speed uh, with the demonstration going on at uh, the Konfuanochi Sichin Hospital in Kumasi, where a family of a lady who gave birth to a baby are demanding the baby dead or alive. Moving on, according to UNICEF, nearly 1.2 million children under five years of age in Ghana are not registered in any official document. The organization says children not registered at birth or without identification documents have challenges accessing education, health care and social security later in life. A 2013 UNICEF supported bottleneck analysis in Ghana shed more light on the multiple indicator cluster survey on birth registration. The analysis showed that unregistered children live in rural and urban areas and are present in different socio-economic and socio-cultural settings. The survey revealed in some hard-to-reach areas, registration rates are not even reaching 20% of children less than 5 years old. According to UNICEF Ghana, birth registration is every child's right which gives children an identity and nationality. But the pattern of birth registration coverage in Ghana shows disparities across diverse issues and the trend is similar to the average global situation. The situation across Western Central Africa is not any better as two out of three children on average are not registered at birth. But what it also means is that these children are then vulnerable to other uh, abuses such as early marriage. You go on immunization and you hear they had 130% coverage. What does that mean? It means there's something wrong. And the fundamental problem is that we do not know how many children we have in this country. Many reasons account for children whose births are not recorded, including difficulty in accessing registration centers, social, cultural, and economic reasons. Uh, they know, but they simply don't care because there's no immediate benefit that they will derive from that. They wait until the need arises. Our facilities, we are not too resourceful. Uh, our staff number now is 247. And uh, registry-wise, we have about 396 registries. Although birth registration is mandatory in Ghana, there seems to be a lack of interest from parents to register their wards. UNICEF Ghana wants birth registration to be linked with a service to tackle the challenge more strategically. You need the birth certificate as a child, even as a baby, as a mother, to access national health insurance, to access social protection schemes you know, to, to, to get admission into school. It's tied to a service. And so the importance of it is seen.